Okay, so before you guys left on break, we were talking about probability. All right, so this chapter takes probability to a place where we have a random variable, all right, and we define that random variable as either discrete or continuous. Those are our two types, okay? And the examples that I've chosen for the notes are examples that you're going to see very soon in your life when you guys go to college. You're going to have the number of credit hours is an example of discrete, where it can take one of any number of countable hours. Usually the minimum to be a full-time student at universities is 12 hours. And then you'll get students that will take up to possibly in the low 20s. Sorry. Okay. And then hopefully, I always think every year that I do this, maybe this will be the class that goes to college and everything is digital. But I'm sure it won't be. Right? You're going to be blown away by the amount of money these textbooks will cost. And a word of advice. You can do that, absolutely. A word of advice for your first year. Don't buy any books until you go to your first lecture. Okay? Don't buy any books until you go to your first lecture of that class. Because there were three times I bought the book, and I went to the lecture, and the professor said, we're not going to use that book. Okay? <laughs> so don't buy any books until you go to the class, and the teacher tells you we're going to use it or not. All right? <laughs> oh, they'll have plenty of books, I promise. Use books online, digital. Buy the digital copies. Cheaper, buy the digital ones. Okay? Do that if possible. Highly recommend it because you'll be surprised how much books cost every semester. So much money. Okay. Now, with these random variables, right, with these random variables, as you're going to see in the example later, we can actually create what is called a probability model. All right, so like for example, if you gave me some information, I could create a probability model for the number of credit hours that you're going to take your first semester in college. All right? Now, with these models, just like we had when you did your first model back in chapter six, all the way back then when you were so young, all right? Remember we had the normal model with mu and sigma? All right, well, that was chapter six when you looked at your first normal model. We're going to have a center, the mean, all right, our mu, and we're going to have a standard deviation, or sigma. So that's going to come back. Oh, that's coming back. Now, this formula in red looks like a, there's a lot going on. It's not. You're going to see that it's fairly straightforward. If you're given a probability model, you take the outcome that's listed, and you multiply the prob by its probability, and then you just do that for all of them, and you sum those numbers. That's all you do. And I'll show you, after we do it by hand, how you can actually use these yellow calculators to do it for you. I know, fancy. Even these $10 things can do it. $10. Okay, now for the spread, we're going to find the standard deviation, but you're going to see when we do this by hand, like we did a long time ago, a long time ago, because we had to do it by once by hand, just to please Catherine with a K. We actually are going to find the variance first, and then to find the standard deviation, we'll take the square root of it. Okay? Now, there's one main idea that you're going to remember from this chapter. Okay? There's one main thing you've got to know for this chapter. And that has to do with what do we do when we take these probability models and we start adding them together or subtracting them from each other. Okay? And that's where the stuff at the bottom comes in, where we're ultimately going to always deal with variances add. That's why I put it very big down here. You should write it big too. Maybe with like six exclamation points. We're going to be talking about in an example today where we're looking at playing a dice game and looking at just in theory, not for real, right? We're going to be looking at adding and subtracting people's scores in this game. And you're going to find something interesting about finding the standard deviation of that model. All right, and it's all going to come back to variances add. Okay, and tomorrow to be in class, I'll try to give you an example of why we're going to do what we're going to do today. Okay, let's stop.